Hey there, we're going to have a look at the enchant command when you're using Minecraft Education. Okay, so I'm not going to get kind of caught up in all of the different things that it does. This list here is available on our website. Um, I'll also put the link to all of these teaching resources that are in the description as well but you can just see here from this list of different items that can be enchanted what the enchanting name is and what it does the, the list is too long for th this video would go too long if i tried to explain all of them so just take the time to kind of go through and have a look but we are going to do an example so do not worry but here is the command so basically made up of forward slash enchant then who you targeting, so nearest player, or is it everyone, or whatever it may be. What is the enchantment? So this comes from this list, and it's specifically like if you're using luck of the sea, for example, you need to use luck underscore of underscore the underscore C. so that's quite important. And then the level. So here you have your levels, so some of them are only at a level one, um, but they can change. So for instance, this one here, increase attack damage against mobs. You can just have it enchanted to a level one or up to a level five. So basically how good is the level of enchantment. If you don't specify a level that's optional, it'll just default to one. So it keeps it nice and simple. Now for this, we're going to use a, um, a crossbow and we're going to enchant it for this. Um, scenario. So essentially what we've got here is a chest which will activate um, when we place our diamond in it and that will then trigger this command block which is where we're going to put our enchantment. So what we're going to do is go forward slash enchant and then at the nearest player and then the one we're going to use is quick charge, which just means the crossbow reloads quickly. So we're going to go quick underscore charge. And then we go three. Okay, three. That's the max actually for that one. And so that's sitting in there. So what I have to do to trigger that is, this is very specific. So you kind of need to learn this from trial and error in the game. And if you already use Minecraft, you'll already know this, is that when I open this chest, is that you need to make sure you're holding the crossbow first and then you place the diamond in the chest and you can already see that it's triggered okay so the, because that's in there that's triggered with our redstone repeater remember if this is kind of new to you i really recommend watching the triggers videos um this one here we put in the advanced video but that set that off and then there is my arrow and if you want to have a bit of fun you can come in here and you can Try and shoot that and see if you can get the fireworks to work. But that's the enchant one. That is just one example of lots of the different ways you can use it. But that's how you, you can use it and set it up as a command when you're building out your own algorithms. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it and we will see you again soon. Cheers.